What's going on, y'all? Hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Jonathan Yench. This is my girlfriend Tessa, for those of you who don't know. It's her birthday! Woo! Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. But anywho, we're also in honor of Tessa's birthday. We're taking the Slumber Queen on the maiden voyage. Just to be clear, we're just going on a trip. This is not the first day of me living in it. That's coming up soon at the end of this month. We're gonna get going because we spent a lot of time packing up this morning because packing takes way longer than you ever can anticipate. So we're gonna hit the road. last two hours or so, maybe even more, been incredibly windy on the freeway. Like you would assume, this very high top camper, uh, in comparison with my truck, is kind of a pain in the ass to drive. It's very tiring, very exhausting, but having this cool little mobile home on wheels to eat in makes it worth it, I guess. Let's get back to the road. to the first, uh, the first Slumber Queen destination. We're in Santa Cruz, the Santa Cruz Mountains. We were planning on going to Yosemite, but we found out that everything, all the first come first served campgrounds were closed and everything was reservation based and like we had a chance of getting a reservation. Let's be real now, it's Yosemite. So here we are in Santa Cruz and uh, it's really beautiful out. It's Tessa's birthday, did I say that? Yes. Happy, happy birthday. In case you're wondering, that area is the last area that needs to be completed on the camper. I am gonna be putting up one more camper renovation video as per popular request. And I mean, more like popular demand because a lot of you are demanding a last video. I am going to have to build something to house the fridge a little bit better right now. We just kind of threw it in there for the trip because it was, it was time to go. It was time to rock and roll. Cheers. Oh, I did, did cheers you, you like five times. <laughs> you're looking in the light. Oh, and yes, we do have beautiful curtains made by yours truly, which you will see in the last camper renovation video. Pretty cool little feature, isn't it? Oh, ow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man.
the screen door so no bugs can get in. This is actually the first time that I'm using the screen door properly. Usually it just gets in the way, but now it's actually coming in pretty clutch. It's kind of weird having this little micro home with me while camping. It's like so different and strange compared to, you know, usually having a campfire going and hanging out out there, making dinner outside, struggling to have light. And now I have literally the comforts of home out here. And it's kind of weird, but it's cool. It's really cool. Please excuse the horrific mess in here. This will have to do. Unfortunately, I don't have a mattress for in here yet, so we have one of the foam little foam pads that you get at Home Depot. Home, Home Depot. Yeah, Home Depot. And uh, we whip out the inflatable camping pad, camping sleeping pad. using the pot because we don't have a large mixing bowl so so we're using the pot as a mixing bowl this already but happy birthday let's try out this food let's be honest yummy. it looked kind of better on the pamphlet but mm. this is a, a blazon balinese chicken cucumber cabbage salad and the reason we have everything all packaged up and measured out and we have the very specific recipe is because uh her family who i live with right now does one of those food prep kind of mass grocery order to, I don't know how to explain it, but it's one of those services where they like send you ingredients and recipes and all you do is basically prepare it. And since they always get that, they have like a ton of extra and they said, if you guys need food, take a couple portions. Here we are eating Balinese chicken, <laughs> cabbage, cucumber salad. And yeah. it's really tasty. Ew. Hey, what is, what? Don't just throw stuff on my floor. It's just hair. So much nicer having running water. I'm so glad that I decided to install the electric pump. Cause at first, I don't know if you remember, but I was going to stick to only the manual pump sink. And although could have made it work realistically, it would have been fine. The electric sink comes in handy, and tonight I saw a great example of that. Oh, yeah. If you want to see the uncensored version, subscribe to my OnlyFans. Oh. <sighs> 
Okay. Well, it's been a successful first night in the old slumber queen, and mm -hmm. it's a uh, it's a new experience, that's for sure. It's much different than what I'm used to when it comes to camping and truck camping. It's really cool, and I think I'm gonna get used to it real quick. Tessa, happy birthday! Thank you. I hope it was a fun day. It was. All right, guys, we will uh, see you in the morning. Good night. Nighty night. Oh, good morning, guys. It's getting pretty late here in the day. That's because we have this ca camper and it's so cozy. It feels like an actual little room as opposed to sleeping in the back of the truck or something, which is nice too, but this is just a lot cozier, so I think that's why we slept in. Tess is in the bathroom right now, but when she gets back, we're gonna make some, make some coffee. And then the plan for the day is, I think we're going to explore around here a little bit in Santa Cruz and then head on up to our next camp campground, which is in Sonoma County. But first, coffee good morning good morning how'd you sleep well really well actually camper is nice huh yeah pretty cozy yeah the only thing was that there's this weird bug buzzing above me yeah that was weird you should have caught it and eaten it i don't like bugs i don't touch bugs <laughs> How is it? So good. We got vegan Creole food. Oh yeah, look at that cornbread. Oh shit. <laughs> so good, oh my god. What you doing in here? Hmm? <laughs> what you got there? <laughs> None of your beeswax, man. Oh, it's that lovely cornbread. Hey, so no good. Touchy. No. So good. You have your own. Go. So good. Go. We just got to uh, our second campground here in Sonoma County, and it is gorgeous out here.
Fire was a pain in the ass to start because the wood that we got was so wet. So I don't know if you've ever tried to start a fire with wet wood, but it takes a long time and a lot of patience. But it's going now, so we're in business. Thank you. Welcome. This is the first dinner I think I've made, like, out. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, you usually make everything. Oh, that's true. So. Pretty yummy. It's like a tortellini with garlic spinach, Parmesan cheese, and olive oil. Exactly. Yummy stuff. All right, y'all, it's actually getting pretty late in the night now. We're back in the Slumber Queen, just chilling for the rest of the night. It has been so awesome to finally, after many, many months, take the Slumber Queen out on its maiden voyage. Once again, happy birthday. Happy birthday to Tessa. This is her trip, so wish her a happy birthday in the comments. We're gonna end the video here, but we are not going to stop filming. We're gonna continue to film for the rest of the trip. Make sure to check back in later in the week, but thank you guys, like always, for watching. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing. You guys go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life. Beat the status quo. You already know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your night or day, and I will see you. We will see you in the next video.